Welcome to Berry Charles, your one-stop shop for everything finance. Three stocks to buy, October edition. Yes, we're here to look at three stocks just for you that maybe you can invest into while you do more research. Let's get to it. Yes, straight off number one, we're going to talk about Meta. Yes, Meta platforms, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram. The world goes on and on and on. As Meta Platforms the company for you, this stock has flown in 2023, but it has also stagnated over the last few months, and you'll be wondering why is this not continuing to go up and up and up? This should be a beast. Um, because Meta is Meta. Yes, Meta Platforms is still not a favourite stock by all institutions. That's the big key. There is a lot of older men that do not like Mark Zuckerberg because he is a game changer. He is young still. They don't like a young person coming in and pushing them around. That is just a simple case in point with this stock. This stock really intrinsic value is a, still a lot higher where it is. This is probably still, I wouldn't say bargain basement prices. We obviously, if we see a recession, it'll drop more. Um, but Meta Platforms is certainly in the current environment, depending if a recession comes, if a recession doesn't come, if a recession comes, you can buy at a better price. But right now, regardless, in 10 years' time, this price of Meta will be a lot higher than where it is right now. So it's definitely worth um, doing some more research. If we look at the bull case, the Metaverse is real, folks. Yes, the Metaverse is real. It is happening. It's not some, some kooky idea that... Um, Zuckerberg has come up about it's going to happen people are going to live more on online um, which has already happened but are we going to go to that extreme we definitely got a gaming group that will do this but can all the mainstream people do it as well have your offices online it will be cartoon characters and all that sort of stuff I'm not 100% sure on that one but we will see what happens here they're putting a lot of money into this and if it goes boom 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 they're going to be right at the forefront of the getting the profitability um, social media is going to be around forever Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram I'm not 100% sure on social media as well Don't get me wrong I'm, Full disclosure, I'm investing in this company But I'm not 100% sure social media is going to always be here to stay It's here for now But as we know, trends happen And trends might eventually come to an end We've seen it with the CD, the tapes I mean, there's all... A few things going on there. There's a, eventually something else will be created. We've got TikTok. It's a start. But if we start to see something else. Completely out of this world. Changes everything. It could be the Oculus. Could be the Metaverse stuff. Then social media is not going to get used. As much as it is today. Um, how long away is it? Who knows? Could be 50 years. Could be 10 years. There's going to be something will happen for the next generation clearly. So, but at the moment it is fine. Um, obviously, ad revenue from all those is where they get their money from. Absolutely beautiful if you're a meta investor. But on the bear case side, if we got to look, got to look at the other side. It's all doom and gloom, folks. Social media is gone for good. Even though I sort of agree that this is going to happen at some point, but in the short term, probably not. Um, but yeah, um, if you believe on that side, social media, this is not the stock for you. Um, the metaverse is not real. We are spending billions of dollars on a, on this, and we it's all going to go down the toilet. So that's the option. There is Mark Zuckerberg getting too ego driven at the moment, and these possible fight and not fight, whatever against Elon Musk. Is that going to happen? Does he too much about his ego instead of making the business great? Even they I'd argue to differ at the moment because of the cut costing. They're making some good gains. And their profitability, um, we'll see how that comes in the next couple of quarters for that. Um, so it's going to be an interesting one. Um, and obviously, worst case scenario, Zuckerberg says, see you later, I'm out the door. I can't see that happening. He is definitely not going to be leaving anytime soon. Unless he really does want to retire and move on. That's probably the only reason I see him doing that. But normally with a company like this, I think he'll be there pretty much till the end of time. Um I I can't see that, but yeah, but a um, meta. Where do where where would you want to um invest in? Right now, hundred fifty dollars. Beautiful. Yes, if the went to recession and you got it down to that low again, buy all day. Right now, 
you can buy, but it's going to take a long time maybe to get to double your money from 300 price. So that's the question you got to take. But if you believe in Meta for the long, long, long term, just buy all day. Not financial advice. Do your own research before you invest into any stock. Absolutely do it at your own risk. Number two stock on the list today is Square. Yes, Block Incorporated changed from Square. Um, this company had been a juggernaut, but has absolutely crashed and burned in 2023. The stock price is pretty much halved. Um, what is happening? Absolutely disgraceful at the moment. What can this company do to get... It hasn't half, sorry, 20%. But um, it's, it's not really looking that good at the moment for this company. They've got some issues to, to work through. Obviously, negative earnings per share. So there, there's some, some real issues around the company. Um, yeah, the free cash flow has been a bit all over the show. They're going to have to get that going. Return on invested in camp capital needs to go up. There's a lot of lot of issues with this company, and their profit is negative now from positive, so it's not looking good at all. But what can be possible good things here for Square? Yes, well, obviously, if you're looking at bull case, that um, fintech is here to stay. Um, Cash App is the number one app in the US. Cash App is absolutely barnstorming in front of Venmo, PayPal, and all the rest. Absolutely booming is Cash App. Top thing, obviously, you've got Visa in it. It's a question mark that they got to try and get past that. But Cash App is definitely a deal there. The bear case, there's so much competition out there. That they're going to run out of money before they get to profitability even though they were profitable profitable before but currently they're not so they're going to have to work on getting that around the business to really work for you um in terms of um what this or what you can do looking at the stock in terms of price of um with square if you are invested or looking at investing well right now i think you want a lower lower value um, I think it's very much overvalued right now, but um, so if you can get it for a lot less than where we are currently, um, and it's really not looking good for you as an investor at the moment. If I look at the current stock price, where it is, it's absolutely in the moon, absolutely in the moon, absolutely in crazy land. This stock should probably be, if you've been fair dinkum, should be a $10 stock. If not lower, this is a, this is a horrendous, I mean, well, sorry, yeah. it's absolutely got to go down, it's got to go down big time from here, and you need to see a real drop, real, real drop here from here, another 4x down for me to say this is something you can really look at investing in, um, so to say it's a stock buy now, even though I said stocks to buy, I think this is a stock to definitely watch. If it crashes and burns in the recession type industry, it may be the time to buy if they are starting to turn the company around. If it continues to drop, drop, drop their income and all that, keeps going worse and not back up the profitability, then you might have to question if it is an investment opportunity. But at the current price, absolutely, absolutely a big no for me in terms of stocks to buy. But don't let me influence you. If they absolutely smash it out of the park and absolutely do something enormous and it's probably a bargain right now but to me it's way way overvalued but it's a stock to look at and my last stock to look at here and stock number three is a new zealand stock you can buy it in america i mean australia as well it's in new zealand which i've talked about a few times on this channel you can go check them out in the other videos if you'd like to understand more about Air new zealand but why would you invest in Air new zealand right now because the question market's already risen a bit after the dividend and then dropped a little bit again What's this company got to do? Well, first of all, it's an airline company for the people that don't know. They fly all around the world, um, mainly based out of New Zealand and Australia. But um, what's the positives of this? You get a sweet, sweet dividend. It's about 10%, 11% at the moment. Absolutely brilliant. Um, with the first time they've brought in the four years, just to give you a synopsis of why they haven't given a dividend for about four years is because when... The Rona happened, um, they 
the, and they got a bailout from the government, New Zealand government, and the stipulation was they cannot provide a dividend until the loan was paid off, which just happened in the last few months. Beautiful, because the shareholders got some money for holding it in there, and let's be fair, completely honest, I am a shareholder of Air New Zealand, so just because I invest doesn't mean you shouldn't invest, but this is just an opportunity to give you an idea around this company. So let's have a look at why this company had risen, or a bit of a bull case on this company. Um, it has gone back to profitability for the first time in a long time. They had been struggling for a couple of years, but they got real decent growth in 2023 with more and more airlines going forward. Um, they obviously need to continue to develop their space and get more and more aircrafts going to new destinations and make it all profitable. This is clearly all the stuff they need to do. Um, they got to keep looking maybe at ways to cut costs and continue to give them um, reinvestment back to the shareholder. It's a lot of things they need to do in terms of to try and improve the stock. If we're going to look at a bear case for being New Zealand, is a recession coming? If a recession is coming, we could be back to where we were. Then that's not a good thing for you because the stock price will drop down dramatically. Um, um, yeah, that the probably the biggest question mark if you if you're gonna be fair thinking about the stock, this is not a stock that's gonna fly to ten dollars or something like that. Let's be fair thinking. Unless they so totally turn around this business. This business model is only just minute, um, growth going flying forward to the moon, but sweet dividend is why you're in it. So if this company continues to pay a dividend after dividend after dividend. You will get a nice payday that way but in terms of stock appreciation i don't see the stock going anywhere near the moon um, it's been around for a long time they really have to completely change their business model maybe buy out a few airlines for them if they wanted to go up the ladder i don't see they've been there or been in there for for go but if they really want to grow can they buy out a Qantas, something like that They're probably knowing they've got a long way to go to get anywhere near that sort of Level, but that's the sort of things they need to look at or even the Jetstar, the lower companies start off with. This is just where where you can make more profit if you can get all that customer base in there. So that's just something for New Zealand need to look at if they want to grow their business for. But um, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. There was three stocks to buy, October edition. Remember to do your own research before you invest into any stocks. I'm just a random guy on YouTube. Just because I invest in the stock doesn't mean you should do your own research and invest at your own risk. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Remember to like and subscribe, Barry Charles. And I'll be back every week. I have three videos a week just for you so you can learn about stock analysis and intrinsic value. That's what most of my videos are about, about particular stocks so you can understand more about the stock market and get yourself ready for profitability in 2023, 2024, and beyond. Have an awesome day out there, my friends.